Yeah, I think one of the great revelations of the exhibition is Richard's drawings, which are exquisite. And again, with the drawings, you can see how he plans out the painting projects and how carefully he, he thinks through them. Uh, in fact, on the mezzanine here at Stuck, we have, I think, one of the central pieces in all of Richard's work, which is the 100 drawings for painting projects, in which each drawing is a different proposal or proposition for uh, a painting action. So what you see is basically the index to Richard's work, or, or the vocabulary, the building blocks of, of his work. Mm -hmm. And virtually every idea in Richard's art can be found in one of these 100 drawings, which he made in 1979. There are many pieces in the exhibition which you can trace back to something in those 100 drawings. There are pieces that he made maybe 10 years or 15 or even 20 years later mm -hmm. that you see first in the 100 drawings. And there are pieces that he's actually working on now that come out of the 100 drawings. Um, so you really are getting this amazing insight into an artist's mind, how they think, and where the work comes from. It was originally done uh, for an exhibition at a university. So he thought it would be funny to grade them as if he was a teacher critiquing the work. Um, and you can see the pieces that he really likes, he'll give an A, and sometimes some gold or silver stars in addition. Pieces that he doesn't like, he'll give a D or an F. Oftentimes he'll write comments in red pencil on the drawings like too much extremism or you've gone too far this time. Um, and in the 100 drawings you can also see Richard's sense of humor. He has a very dry and witty uh, approach to being an artist and to making art. 